Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Asif Ali Sayed from the Department of Business Administration, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. Today, we shall be discussing about the module Characteristics and Motivation of Social Enterprise of the paper Skill Development and Social Entrepreneurship. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the relevance of characteristics and motivations of social enterprises and they would get familiar with the dimensions of character types, requisite motivations for setting up a social enterprise. Introduction to Social Entrepreneurial Leaders Social entrepreneurial leaders are persons who create and manage innovative entrepreneurial organizations or ventures whose primary mission is the social change and development of their client group. The field of leadership has comparatively inadequately been explored from the role of social entrepreneurial leaders in the formation, growth and function, effectiveness, decline and closure of social entrepreneurial organizations. Copper Rider and Passmore 1991 have urged that social change organizations be the setting for the research thrust due to their increasing importance in the world. They are and will be playing a tremendous role in the upliftment of the disadvantaged, especially in the third world and in the sustainable growth and development of the planet. They can have considerable cumulative impact on society and can lead to economic development apart from socio-political changes. On the other hand, the creators or creators of social entrepreneurial organizations may display many of the characteristics and behaviors of the classical economic entrepreneurial leader in the process of creating and managing their organizations. Subsequently, it enumerates the similarities and differences between the two types of entrepreneurial leaders while developing several theoretical positions on social entrepreneurial leadership. Definition Social entrepreneurial leaders can be defined as persons who create and manage innovative entrepreneurial organizations or ventures whose primary mission are the social change and development of their client group. The social entrepreneurial organizations may depend on outside funding for their activities or be self-sufficient by engaging in economical activity in consonance with their core missions. Surplus may be created through such economic activity and used for their social missions. They may also attain self-sufficiency by initiating economic activity among their client group as part of their social mission and retain subsistence funds from the surplus that is generated. There can also be primarily for-profit organizations that attempt social changes and development through innovative social ventures to the extent that these are clearly identifiable new ventures headed by an independent innovative venture creator manager, these can be called social intrapreneurial ventures. The difference between the two is that the former is an entirely new venture initiated by individuals where no organizations existed before, while the latter is a distinct new venture initiated by an organization from within itself by its own ranks. Common Characteristics The common characteristics of small social entrepreneurial organizations and small economic entrepreneurial organizations both are a. Local efforts in providing innovative products and services which are usually locally developed b. Both experiment and often make many trial runs and use a variety of approaches to arrive at viable methods and c both have identifiable leaders who are strongly committed to their ventures. D. Both seek to meet local people's needs at least initially and are largely supported by them. Distinguishing characteristics of small developmental organizations identified by Brown and Covey 1987 are A. Values and ideologies are critical to organizational life. B. Their mission requires them to differentiate into subunits linked with multiple diverse external constituencies and c. They are loosely organized, 
providing considerable discretion and flexibility to their members. They argue that these characteristics are likely to become more common in successful industrial organizations in future and therefore we need to understand developmental organizations to design and change future industrial organizations. Small service economic entrepreneurial organizations need to influence multiple constituencies in their external environment while providing services. The importance of shared value and ideologies is increasingly noticed. They need loose organizational structure for flexibility and rapid response and are moving towards closer and long term interaction with their clients. The close parallels between the two types of entrepreneurial organization sets the stage for greater understanding of economic entrepreneurial leadership through social entrepreneurial leadership. Greater understanding of the less research social entrepreneurial organizations may thus be derived from the vast research on economic entrepreneurial organizations. Differences Notwithstanding these similarities, the essential difference between the two is that social entrepreneurial organizations are committed to changing their environments and not just to producing a product or service sufficiently acceptable to ensure their financial viability, as quoted by Brown and Covey 1987. Though some economic entrepreneurial leaders have contributed to social changes, it is often a secondary mission. This is seen among some technological leaders who are committed to improving the quality of life by creating and introducing appropriate new technological products. These differences are stark between ideal types of social entrepreneurial organizations and economic entrepreneurial organizations, but not between the entire population of such organizations, some of which have characteristics of both. Social Entrepreneurial Leadership Behavior Social entrepreneurial leaders analyzing their characteristics and motivations to adjudge if they are vastly different from those of economic entrepreneurial leaders. Economic entrepreneurial leadership behavior is complex, requiring the generalist's ability to juggle multiple activities and roles. The career is voluntary and requires intense involvement. Social entrepreneurial leaders are involved in all respects of their organization, operations both in the here and now and in the long term and with the rapid and flexible changes in the operational focus without a change in the strategic focus. Motivations What are the motivations of social entrepreneurial leaders? Achievement Motivation may not be high among social entrepreneurial leaders, rather motivation to assuage a deep feeling of uneasiness with the status quo may be higher. Other possible motivations are altruism, need to be true to one's values and beliefs, need to match with one's self-concept and need to be socially responsible. As studied by Swami in 1990, he found that in case of study of a social entrepreneurial leader, the urge to fight injustice and the urge to experiment. They may share with economic entrepreneurial leaders a strong need to be in control of their environment. The task risk that social entrepreneurial leaders take may be quite high with a high propensity and need to experiment, but the ability to take risks may also be quite high given that social experiments are conducted in good faith and both Success and failure are rich learning experiences. Uncertainly, tolerance is also likely to be higher among social entrepreneurial leaders. They may value the lifestyle, the respect from both the client group and society and the success of their ventures. Age and risk factor. Younger people may be more willing than middle aged people to risk a few years for building a social venture before they enter the mainstream. The latter faces greater risks in terms of career growth as they may be switching from a mainstream career. Also, their family responsibilities may be considerable. Younger people are likely to initiate social action or developmental activities while older people are likely to initiate charitable one. The latter may be the people who 
having been absolved of their familial responsibilities wish to make a meaningful contribution to society. Some of these may be mainstream economic entrepreneurial leaders who satisfied with their economic growth wish to contribute socially or build a social image. Background and experience For many past work experience in other social entrepreneurial organizations are both a trigger and a guide. Some have social work education that gives them insight on social changes and development, a trigger event in their present career or a psychological upheaval can shift some people towards social entrepreneurial leadership, but it is usually a multi-causal event. Social entrepreneurial leaders can spin off other social entrepreneurial organizations where they had been working earlier either due to ideological differences or by design. Some social entrepreneurial organizations act as incubators, training people and encouraging them to form their own social ventures in other areas. Cultural and Societal Impact Some communities are known to be culturally biased towards economic entrepreneurial leadership and actively promote it socially. Do similar patterns exist for social entrepreneurial leadership? Strong family influences may guide potential leaders towards social entrepreneurial leadership. Childhood experiences may force the choice of a social entrepreneurial career possibly to make up for inaction by the parents or the community or through the instilling of a deep sense of value by parents and teachers during childhood. Personal history and psychological buildup may further augment this. A related issue is the societal context that gives rise to social entrepreneurial leadership as stated by Bird in 1989 in his study wherein he lists the elements of this context as a economic, political and technical situation. The Zaidkist or the spirit of the times and the cultural context. These are the context variables which social entrepreneurial leaders work towards changing and which most economic entrepreneurial leaders work within. Abilities Some of the abilities as stated by Swami in his study in 1990 is social entrepreneurial leaderships having a common entrepreneurial abilities as visible among economic entrepreneurial leaders. The two are essentially distinguished by their ideologies which guide the choice of mission, means and ends. The actual actions of the two types may neither be significantly different nor the abilities, skills and talents, both physical and mental as required of them. Roles Social entrepreneurial readers may take multiple roles in their organization. That is, creator and transformer of the organization and initiator of new systems, culture and programs. They do strategic planning, policy making, hire people and provide them mentorship. They face role conflicts between organizational and personal roles primarily due to the high external influence on their organizations. Role models assume importance in dealing with role conflicts and role ambiguity. The variety of social programs and the changes may require dramatic role transitions. Next is networks and external relations. Building external relations are critical for social entrepreneurial leaders to establish legitimacy with multiple constituencies. Apart from the almost internal client group, other important constituencies are the funding agencies, the government and other social entrepreneurial leaders. Networking with other organizations within their geographical operating area as well as with similar organizations operating elsewhere is crucial for social entrepreneurial leaders in receiving relevant information, mutual learning, getting appropriate personnel and for joining together for a common cause. The family and close networks can provide the much needed emotional support for social entrepreneurial leaders in the face of tremendous pressure and adverse circumstances. These leaders often write highly supportive and encouraging letters to each other and have meetings to discuss and share their experiences 
and provide a boost to each other's work. Careers Social entrepreneurial careers may begin at any stage in the life of the individual. Some stay for longer periods in one field of intervention while others move from one field to other, from passive to active forms or the reverse. Movements could be from social to economic entrepreneurial leadership or in the reverse direction. Successful accomplishment of the mission may lead to closure of the venture and career, though social entrepreneurial levels. Costs and benefits to the social entrepreneurial leader are also similar, with major differences being poorer economic rewards and possibly higher self-assuaging and guilt reduction rewards for social entrepreneurial leaders. The stress and long hours of working and the personal sacrifices required of the two types of leaders is similar. Venture Movement Having created a social venture, the creation of subsequent venture is guided largely by the client group response arising out of greater understanding of the client group needs rather than by pursuing related activities as is common in economic entrepreneurial leadership. Social Entrepreneurial Organizations Why do social entrepreneurial organizations grow and survive? The most important reason is the establishment of credibility in both the client group and the society at large. The appropriateness of the intervention and its levels in the hierarchy of needs by the client groups is also important. Partnerships Equal partnerships and partners are rarely form social entrepreneurial organizations as it is difficult to find two equal partners with identical ideological learnings as well as operational propensities. A leader-follower diet usually results even among otherwise equal partners. The partners can be from graduating schools, the workplace, common associations or marriage. Complex interactions can occur between them at the operational and ideological levels. Innovation Close contact with their client groups can make social entrepreneurial organizations develop innovative, locally responsive strategies and systems to resolve deep-rooted social issues and contradictions. While economic entrepreneurial organizations innovate primarily in the product market and operations area, social entrepreneurial organizations may primarily innovate in developing new and more effective social change strategies and strategies to change their environment. Competition Differences exist in the nature of competition faced by the two types. An economic entrepreneurial organization usually faces competition at both input and output sites, at the former for resources and raw materials and at the latter from substitute that is competing suppliers of similar or substitute products or services. Social entrepreneurial organizations face competition largely at the input side for funds, people and other resources. Competition on the output side is rare for development and charitable social entrepreneurial organizations as work arena is extremely vast. The degenerate type of competition may exist in major cities having a concentration of social work concentrations. Social actions, social entrepreneurial organizations may face competition from competing ideologies and from those who are affected by and oppose their work and action. Members and employees. The nature of involvement of members may vary depending on the nature of the task. Some are completely voluntary with no compensation for services rendered while others are semi-voluntary with token or subsistence compensation for full-time services. Non-voluntary members with market compensation for services rendered form a third type. Building and maintaining employee motivation and commitment to the organization's mission is important for social entrepreneurial organizations. Apart from feeling competition in getting employees, their workforce may be transitory even with high motivational efforts. 
employee participation in decision making is essential in social entrepreneurial organizations especially in the middle management and above due to their high ideological and value content often exit can be due to employee not being allowed to participate coming to closure the question of closure is a complex and sensitive issue in social ventures social entrepreneurial organizations need to be extremely careful to prevent a dependency syndrome developing in it their client group and also be sensitive to register its presence often sensing their dependence may lead to closure of the venture if the consequences are serious sometimes the efforts need to be completed before closure is made some social entrepreneurial organizations retain the client group while moving to other arenas of intervention personality cognitive evaluation of entrepreneurs entrepreneurship being a complex and multidimensional phenomena as stated by gartner in 1989 the explication of the construct requires the consideration of environmental opportunity realization which is made possible by the specific cognitive processes and the unique configuration of the personality structure that becomes functionally autonomous these are derived from the integration among the personality processes motivational dynamics cognitive processes decision making modes and the attributes of the environment of value creation a personalistic cognitive platform model is laid for the emergence of entrepreneurship a successful entrepreneur is consequent to the integration of the personality process cognitive processes and motivational dynamics with the attributes of the environment as quoted by zehra and des 2001 gartner 1985 also has suggested a conceptual framework for describing the new venture creation of entrepreneurs however the value of the present approach rests on elevating the process dynamic nature of entrepreneurship to the different realm wherein it delineates the individual specific processes along with the environmental scanning stocks of information derived from the environment create mental models which provide a framework for recognizing new information and the entrepreneurial process is distinguished by the ability to combine existing concepts and information into new ideas as is studied by young murphy and depaul in 2006 woods and bandura in 1989 explain that individuals develop their knowledge and skills on the basis of information they received through interactions with others in the environment let us summarize what we have discussed so far social entrepreneurial leaders can be defined as persons who create and manage innovative entrepreneurial organizations or ventures whose primary mission are the social change and development of their client group apart from their social contribution social entrepreneurial organizations add value by creating jobs improving utilization of development funds and empowering their client groups thereby also adding towards economic growth social entrepreneurial leadership behavior is characterized by motivations background and experiences cultural and societal impacts abilities roles networks and external relations career and venture movements thank you